next session i'll be explaining about vault policies okay what are the key features of policies how to allow restrictions how permissions we can control how can we assign it what what are its capabilities capabilities and in the create read update delete and along with list sudo and deny how can we make use of it how to list the policy how to create a policy how to write a policy we will see all these in this session the next session i'm planning is april deep dive where i'll be explaining these points associated with the april and for this policy understanding of policy is very much required hence guys please pay attention in this session okay so in this session i'll explain these policies via the, this scenario i'll be creating these three users admin security and developer via user pass we will create these three policies okay which will be assigned like one to one then we will create these three kvc create engine and we will try to see how can we restrict a developer to use only develop application related secrets so it shouldn't allow to read or even you know list a security secrets we will see you know how can we achieve this in this session so i already have vault initialized so if i do vault token lookup it shows me that i have logged in as a root okay now if i do vault status it should show me that it is see this false so if i do the login from the ui okay so policies as of now no policies has been created and if you go to this auth method so no user pass has been created so let's follow this scenario now so first let me list down the auth methods so right now only token is there so let me enable a user pass let me reach out to this path where i have my policy is created I'll, I'll explain you so these are the policies this is the admin which has every right this is security this almost i mean less than admin but almost has every right and this is we will play with so you can see here we have access over only to this path so i can use of this plus sign or we can use of this data so it's it remains same so i'm restricting this whosoever has this policy mapped has access only to this path okay so we will see this only so i'm just doing the policy listing again so right now only default and root policies are there if i show you from ui you go to this policy section only we you we can't modify root by the obvious reasons and default is something always assigned right now let's create this policy so i'm create so this is how you write a policy okay this is the name of the policy and this is a policy i'm assigning to this so this is my admin policy and if we see it here admin policy got created and this is how policy is there so yeah let me create two more and list it again yeah so now if i switch back to ui again and see so these are the three policies created now as as i said to to explain you this scenario i need to create three users first so i'm creating a three users okay via user pass so this is admin user with this password and policy mapped is this one have a look this is where we will be dealing most abdev user has this abdev policy and security user has security policy and this is we have created in the admin state so i'm just doing this three in the same okay now the three users has been created if i cross check want to cross check it from ui go to access user pass so you should see these three users created let's create some kv look up will always ensure me you know what user I, I am so i'm right now i am a root user so i'm creating kv okay and nothing rnd guys you know uh, 
uh, we have already seen these things before so i'm just doing it and uh, creating a second so if you go to the secret section and the secrets you can see app tv kv has been created it has this and so i forgot to for admin so let's create it for admin as well now if i see it so secrets admin has been created let's log in with the user app dev is is app developer able to retrieve secrets associated with this security or not so now i'm you logging in via user pass with the username app dev and password is app dev123 as we have created here This is my token and you can see the policy mapped is active policy. So if I just replace it. So let me do this. So if you want to ensure about you know what user you have logged in. So always do all token lookup. So it will ensure that you know user you are logged in as app dev and via user and this is the policy map. Now, as per the policy, let's say what this policy says. As per my dev policy, it says I am allowed only to deal with this. So let me open my secrets in the another tab. And here, app dev. So have a look. App dev, uh, secrets, app dev. So secrets and app dev. So I'm allowed to do create, read, update and everything possible, but only with this path. So if I try to retrieve that KV, let's see. So this should be allowed, okay, because I'm dealing only with active KV. Yeah, I'm able to retrieve the password. Let's try to fetch another KV. I am now let's try to create some password uh, create some secret yep I'm allowed now let's try to destroy I'm just trying to you know show you guys whether whatever things we have written here like you know the update delete are we really allowed or not so you can see success means everything is allowed now here you can see instead of this app dev kv let's try to fetch kv secret associated with the security so this should give me permission denied okay permission denied as expected and even list shouldn't be allowed as expected okay. now we got this permission denied by the obvious reasons now let's modify this policy okay app dev policy to have access over to security kv obviously this this such things we can do only with root, root user and here you can see i have logged in as a root user here so i will modify my policy now let me modify this so here uh, on at this security kv path i am giving a read and list access to this app dev user now i am saving it okay now i am doing the login again okay now i got this token so let me set it so vault token lookup again just to ensure myself Can see right now I'm I logged in as a user and this app dev policy so in the previous we saw that I wasn't allowed to have access over it but if I do this you can see here now right now I am able to retrieve the security key now <clears throat> as we have added only um, read and list property but not the create okay so let's try to create a secret 
at the security path where we are have where we are not allowed so it should throw us uh, permission denied error let's cross check yeah as expected it is not allowed to create something at this path so this is how you know we can control permissions via policy so that's it for this session guys in the next session you know we have a good brainstorming or deep dive over approval this will be the most important session here i'll show you the importance of approval and uh, a real life scenarios how to make it control how policy how we can make it policy controlled or role controlled or how can we do it in automated way if you are trying for jenkins or any ci cd how to protect secret id which is as similar as password to us so we will see that's it for this session be with me see you in the next bye thanks for watching my video please like comment and subscribe this will help me to work on myself